We're here at GET 2016, which is the second Global Forum on Emergency Telecommunications in Kuwait, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Mr. Brahim Asanu, who is Director of the Telecommunications Development Bureau at ITU. Mr. Asanu, thank you very much indeed for taking some time off to be in the studio with us today. Thank you very much. Now, I'd like to start off by talking about uh, what's been happening here at the Forum. You launched two important programs today. Could you tell us a little bit more about them? Today, during one of the sessions, I launched two important programs to me and two emergency telecommunications. The first one is ICT's Network of Volunteers for, emer for Emergency Telecommunication. As you know, when natural disasters strike, sometimes it takes time for people outside to rush to the disaster place. So by having a network of telecommunication volunteers who could be on the spot, uh, we are going to train them. We are going to have some criteria from training, from some standard that we allow them to be immediately operational on the spot to start helping people and start helping organize the rescue before all the international community arrive, arrives in, on the spot. So this is what it is about. We need to have some volunteers. They could be young people, they could be people uh, who are working, they could be retired people, but we need those volunteers who could be at any time operational immediately before all the international community organizes itself to come to the rescue. The second initiative is about the Global Fund for Emergency Telecommunication Rapid Response. This is, this is, this is very important. As you know, the most important time for saving lives is the 24 to 72 hours after natural disaster strikes. So for that we need a lot of resources suddenly. Sometimes, of course, we are all more keen in pleading resources, but those resources will come maybe after one week when we need them uh, immediately. So this fund, this fund will be used actually uh, together with all the stakeholders okay, to uh, face actually the immediate need for found and funding some, uh, some, uh, some people or some equipment or transporting equipment immediately after natural disaster strikes. So I think that with combining those two, we could do a lot. The most important for me in this phase, this program, is that what do we do immediately? 24 to 48 hours, what do we do to save lives? before all the community, international community comes. We need those immediate action. And I think through the fund, this is fund, and the volunteers, we could do it at least in the ICT part to organize the ICT services in order to help the humanitarian services, in order to help the doctors, in order to help the firefighters, in order to help all the community of rescue uh, during that time. That sounds excellent. And how can events such as this GET 2016 help stakeholders join forces to be able to implement this? I mean, you may have heard from during the presentations. Actually, this event is found to be very important because it brings together all the multifaceted part of the business. So how can we all get together? The most important, and again, when natural disaster strikes, coordination is a big issue. And this meeting is helping to work on the coordination before, and before natural disasters. So this is what is very important for me. You are seeing here uh, a lot of exhibition. You are seeing private sector. You are seeing NGOs. And here we are building the coordination before. We are rehearsing the coordination uh, before the natural disaster. And this is the most important for me. What do you hope will be the key or some of the key outcomes from this meeting? I think that I'm already satisfied with the result we achieved. 
by getting people to get together in a neutral and a very friendly environment. So they have been talking to each other. We have an exhibition on technology. So people are seeing what are the technology, newest technology that exist today that can, can help them. I think that this is a big achievement for me as director of BDT. In addition to that, all the discussion are proven to be important for all the community to get together and to coordinate. Again, I'm insisting on that issue is about coordination and not lo losing, uh, not losing resources when natural disasters strike, because time becomes a critical resource when natural disasters strike. So through this meeting, we're putting the building block of this coordination, not to lose a critical resource that is time. Mr. Senator, thank you very much indeed. And I know that your time is precious, so we wish you the very best for the rest of the conference. And thank you for your taking time to come to the studio it's and great, talk to us. Great pleasure. Thank you.